Today is a very exciting day, isn't it, Hershey? You know why that is? Isn't it, Murphy? Yes, it's very exciting. Look how excited they are. We are going... We are going... We are going to repot the loofah. Yes, how exciting is that? I'm excited. Hope everyone else is excited. Hello everyone and welcome back to Cara's Tidbits. As the boys so helpfully just explained, today we are going to be repotting our loofah. And you can see they've come on quite well since we planted them. Um, I'll put a little thing up on the screen showing when that was and a link to that video because I can't remember anything. Now Lufa are Lufa are the um, plants, they grow very very big, they're a curcubit as you can see and they grow quite big so they take up a lot of room. They are actually a plant that really does need a greenhouse or warm environment which is unusual for most curcubits but they're like a good basically but a tender one. You see the roots have started to fill the pot and that's why we're potting on. Just make a little hole. Now the loofah is actually what people use to scrub themselves with. But in my case, uh, I think a friend has already claimed one if I get a harvest, but in my case, um, the boys actually eat them, the chinchillas actually eat them, because they make very, very, very nice tasty chews. And as everyone knows, hopefully from watching, chinchillas need to chew constantly. They go through loads of sticks, loads of things like that. So I'm hoping I will at least get a couple for them to slice up into little squares. Now I'm transplanting, I'm just pulling it up by the seed leaves because we don't need these as much as the true leaves. And obviously the stem is life. And then just popping them in. Now I am also planting them a little deeper because things get leggy at this time of year. You want to be careful though not to keep the soil too wet because the stem will rot if it's too moist. Everyone hates that word don't they? Moist. How many of you are cringing at the moment saying the word moist? Pull them out by the seed leaves and you can see they've filled the pot, perfect time to pot on. They've got a true leaf coming and quite a sturdy stem really. I like using these little square pots because they are perfect size to fit into trays and things. And also they basically... Ooh, now that's quite surprising, that one's not got much in the way of top growth, but it has quite a significant amount of root growth. I wasn't expecting that. There we are. I like that there. I just did six because there's no way I need hundreds and it was still time to set them off. I wasn't expecting them all to grow. You see that one's not doing so well, poor little thing don't think I just pulled the root off, but I'll um, keep it going anyway. It will probably die, so I'll end up with five, and then I'll still have a couple spare, because they do get quite big plants. And I have recycling these mushroom containers. Though that one needs a wash. mushroom containers and two fit in and then they just fit nicely on the windowsill. Two fit in. Yeah that doesn't 
seam. Uh, I think I might have pulled the root growth off. I don't think this little one will survive. Two goes in there. And one more. And two in. I'll give them a soak to make sure all the compost is moist. The compost is just multi-purpose compost. I've used a mixture of peat free and a little bit of Jack's Magic, which is what I have. I'm trying to reduce peat compost. I'm not sure at the moment if I'm getting rid of it completely, but the aim is to find a decent peat free compost. At the moment, I'm just so panicky about things not growing. So I'm using a nice combination. And those are my beautiful Luther. Think about it. There we are, there's your bribe. Thank you everyone for watching this little quick pot on of something that I'm really quite pleased with. They do need to be set off quite early, but there's probably still time. But they have quite a long growing season and you need to start them off indoors. And hopefully see you next time. If you are interested in other videos, please have a look. There will be a pop-up on the screen at some point and go and nosy. If you've seen them all before, thank you even more. Bye for now. Do you want to say bye boys? They don't. <laughs>